Hello, my beautiful people of God. How are you all doing today? I believe God that everyone is doing great. I trust God that everyone is enjoying God's faithfulness and we must give him all the praise. Hallelujah. My returning subscribers, God Almighty will reward you. Thank you so much for always sharing the videos. I'm so grateful. And if you are new here, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please, don't leave without subscribing to this channel, okay? Because when you subscribe, you are supporting what we are doing here. Because in this place, we bring you authentic information of the happenings in the body of Christ. And also share with you soul-lifting messages just to encourage one another. Thank you. Today's message I want to share with you is from Brother Gwile Akoni. It is a heart cry of a man of God. Honestly, you see this thing that this man is crying here. On this platform, we have been on it for the past years now. We are uh, our prophets, the prophets of this generation, especially in Nigeria. Why are you not talking? Your members are suffering hunger, lack, fear in the land. Why are you keeping quiet? Why are you not calling the leaders to fix things in Nigeria? Why? Why? I know that this is happening in the whole of Africa, but trust me, that of Nigeria is of the highest order. When you talk of hunger, hunger in the land, and not as if the people of Nigerians are lazy. No. But because there is no system that is working for them that could make them to fend for themselves even if nigerian government cannot fend for their citizens insecurity everywhere fear everywhere hmm? so i want you to listen to this man of god now he made mention of the judges the judicial system in nigeria i want you to listen to him and i will be back with the rest of my thoughts on that subject matter in nigeria who has this kind of feeling that abaku had are there some of you who quietly you are saying oh lord when will this confusion stop in nigeria When will wickedness stop in our land? When will the wicked stop oppressing the righteous with immunity? We cry, oh God, when will you intervene? And you are watching us. Our people are killed. And there is no court that will speak into it. Our daughters are kidnapped. Nobody is talking about it. And it's a key, everything is normal. Why is everything like this? Why are we going like this? What is the matter? I even cry out unto you concerning violence that is taking place. The other day I was traveling, I finished preaching in Kaduna. This is a Kaduna that I normally go preach anytime. I can drive out of that place. 7 p.m., 10 p.m., they say, Braguilia, are you going to say yes? I'm going to sleep in Boko tonight. I've traveled all of those places. And I was about to go. I'm going to Joss. And the brethren said, Bragbile, no, 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 no. You can't travel by yourself. You can't travel. I say, why? This is still daytime. It's not yet night. 
So the senior brothers and sisters who are in the military, they quickly organized and got a very serious entourage <laughs> to go in front and to come behind. I wasn't feeling a big man. I was feeling a captured man. I was feeling like a man who no longer has liberty to move in his land. Other that had looked at him, I said, I believe he's a big man now because uh, so a man in front of him, entourage is here, escort. I said, no, 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 this is not the country I'd love to see. How can a simple man like myself be robbed of my simplicity because of wickedness? The law is slacked. Did you hear me? What did I say? The law is slacked. The law has lost, has lost its power, has lost lawfulness. When people do wickedly, they say go to court. Because they know the court has become toothless. Their hands are tied. They know what is right to do, but they dare not do it. Judgment never goes forth. Those who have money, they are the ones that carry the judgment. And so even when you are being cheated and they are, they are using that on your head, they say, go to court. And if you open your mouth and you shout it, they say, go to court, stop talking. Why are they so bold? Why are the wicked saying we should go to court? Because the court is in their pocket. And the wicked, they compass the righteous everywhere. I seem to say, we have told you, we are not about righteousness now. We have taken over. Whatever you know, whether it's right, keep it to yourself. We are in charge. Wow. Do you hear that? Go to court is the language of the wicked and there's no two ways about it. But that is absolutely correct. We all know now, we saw what happened during the election. We saw what is still happening up to now. That people will misbehave, will maltreat you, abuse you, and do so many other things that they want, you to, do, they want to do to you. And at the end of the day, they will ask you to go to court. Why is that confidence? Why? Because they know that they can buy their way. Hmm? So, I want you to share this video and let it get to appropriate quarters. The judges of Nigeria, the judicial system, the lawyers, all of them, they must hear this. Let them know that we know that they are toothless right now. Hmm? That is the truth. And please, I beg you, subscribe if you have not done so. And I will be back in the rest of my videos. Please stay tuned.